Hi my crafties, it's Tree. How are you doing today? I hope you're having a good and crafty day. So um, today I'm going to try to do a tutorial. Yeah, watch out. Um, <laughs> because my space here is very limited. But this is that, um, I'm calling it a pocket folio. Um, I made these for the uh, 1K collab. Or was it the breast cancer awareness? Hmm. I can't remember. <laughs> it was the 1K collab or the breast cancer awareness collab. And um, you guys were asking, you know, how do you do it? So um, I just thought I would try to do a tutorial for you. So I'm going to put that over there. And I have my cheat sheet. Now, this is a, um, a note that Aymaka sent me, so I find that, you know, this space is very limited here, but I can get a lot more on the back, so, um, all this will be in the description box below, so you need, um, a main card, which is, I use, I'm using one in 110 pound cardstock, it needs to be eight and a half by five and a half, and scored at three, at seven eighths and then flip over and score at three and seven eighths so um i have as much as i can pre-done so just to demonstrate that i have a little scoreboard here thank you ebony at sharing more i won this in one of her giveaways so um three and seven eighths is that little tick mark right before the four so we would score it there and then flip it over and then hit that mark again and score it again and that gives you I think a half inch um, three quarters of an inch uh, binding what did he call that I don't know whatever it is so then you see it's just a little booklet like that okay so, then the fun comes in, where we have to create the pocket for the inside. <clears throat> and for that, um, I score it at a quarter. Okay, oh, there you go. A half. This is hard because I'm holding it and scoring it so you can see and three quarters and I'm also trying to hurry because it's a video and I don't want it to be too long so then flip it over and score it at the quarter am I in frame there we go half and three quarters ah almost got it there we go and then I flip it to one of the sides now um I'm a little crazy and I want them to line up, so this is going to be my bottom. And I'm just going to square that at one quarter along the bottom. Okay, so that's pretty much all we need the scoreboard for. So I'm going to put it way over there. And then mountain, valley, and mountain. And that gives you that gusset that makes the W. So, mountain, valley, and mountain. Now, this part gets a little tricky and it's taken me a long time to figure it out, but um, I finally decided that when they're all the way folded, I pull one tab out and it cut across to the corner where they meet and then one side. So I'll do that again on this side. So across to the corner and then out that way. Many people do that. And then when that happens you end up with kind of the funky thing right here. So if you fold it the other direction then I just take off a little bit there and here. Okay. All right. 
and then I have my inside mats and I did not um, so the the mats say that you need one color you need one color for the outside and one color or pattern for the inside or you can just take this and and double everything but I do I like a lot of variety so um, it's gonna be the five and three eighths by three and three quarters but um what I'm finding with this is that um, now let me fold this end up here like that and then when I stick this in there and this in there and then that's over here a little dry run oh yay this one's working fine they were gapping a little bit and I had to turn a little bit off um so I'm a little crazy to the point where I go it's going this way like that okay I know I'm weird but that's how it is <laughs> so we're gonna glue these down and if I would have thought about it I would have glued one already so I wouldn't have to glue two but we're gonna make it work bear with me um, usually my tutorials are things that are really simple and easy that I can get done very quickly and not keep you here forever and we're gonna just see how well glue can dry for me I was contemplating using um, a tape runner but I I don't know I've I've grown accustomed to the wet glue and I really like it and the tacky glue does dry rather quickly so I'm just gonna glue these tabs down and you can do it any way you want but I like to have the tabs hidden and underneath and it doesn't matter too much if it's not a complete um, seal right now because we're going to glue this to the inside of the folio anyway I'm just getting very messy okay so there's one and I need another one over here I've already scored and cut this one so we just need to glue it down I think it's kind of fiddly trying to get these gussets in there and that's up to you maybe you don't want the gussets and you just want to um, fold it over a quarter of an inch and call it a, a slim pocket but I like having a little more room to put things so there's my glue okay I really don't know how much glue I'm putting on because I can't really see down there that well. So hopefully I'm in frame. Looks like I am. Not sure I got glue on there. Doesn't seem to be. There we go. I'm sticking down. Okay. And then the last side here. I went a little crazy with the glue there. <laughs> All right. And it seems to be a little wonky. Probably because I'm rushing. Hmm. Okay. So we're going to set these aside for a minute because I like to work on <clears throat> the outside of this. Um, so again, the same map. It's just color two. It's the same size. It's the five and three eighths by three and three quarters. And then I cut the five and three eighths by five eighths. And then I cut a five and three eighths by three and three quarters. That way I get the, um, the continued pattern that I want. So I chose the swan paper. 
And this is that baby girl paper pad that I was using for the um, breast cancer awareness. And you'll see that. There we go. It goes like that. They line up and then it looks like a continued continue, continual pattern as opposed to it being chunked up. And it's crazy because really probably no one will ever open the book this way and look at it that way. But it is me. Um, okay, so I go a little crazy with the glue because I want to make sure it sticks and sticks well. I've always been a little crazy with my adhesives. You guys probably know that. But it, it looks like a lot of glue, but I have a very um, narrow opening on my Aileen's Tacky Glue here. So, right there's a big glob that um, really not a lot is coming out. And I just fit it down there and find an even border. And then somewhere I have my, there it is, bone folder. And I just press it all down into the spine. That's what it's called, the spine. Goodness, took me that long to figure that one out. That's what happens when we get old, we forget words. <laughs> and I line up the top or the bottom. We got a little bit of wiggle room because it's glue, wet glue and not a um, tape runner. That one I don't like to press with a bone folder because it'll slide. And then we're going to put some glue on this back one. And, you know, it's pretty much just a lot of gluing. And then Go right. There, just don't really press down until you know you got it where you want it. Alright. So it looks like that. <clears throat> and then, what I have is... The... Where is it? So, I took strips and I cut them to the same width as the mats, the five and three eighths, or not the five and three eighths, just the three and three quarters and the five and five eighths, or five eighths, please. So it says, and strips or bands, and then whatever width you want them. So you can have them wide, you can have them narrow, it just depends on the width that you want them. Um, one of them, I even used, um, what is it called? When you can use those border strips, but this, this is a border strip. So that's how wide it came out to begin with. And that doesn't look right. <laughs> I, that is so weird. There we go. See, it looks so much better like that. Okay. So, and then I cut some ribbon and I figured out that my ribbon could be about eight inches long. So I just cut 16 inches and I cut it in half and I have my fabric tack. So I'm going to put a little bit of fabric tack on this ribbon. And I have tons of pink ribbon, and I don't know where I get them from, but Hobby Lobby, um, Michael's, not really, um, where else, Joann's, so I'll put that down, and then we're going to put this border on top. Just 
kind of center it between the ribbon. And then we're going to continue with this one. <laughs> Somewhere. I think that's about good. All right. So to do the other side, I kind of close the book up. And then that way, I can tell that the ribbon is lined up in the same spot. You guys will hear and notice the train, and um, it will take me some time to realize that there is a train there. So, right about there, see how they're lined up. And then I'm going to open the book back up. And glue this one down. we go. That looks about right. All right, so almost done with the outside. Um, and then I take these, um, it's a two inch circle and this is one that comes from the paper pad and um, I just glue this over here because I just think it looks a little, little bit better. I'm going to pick this up a minute and straighten that out. And I don't take it all the way to the edge of the book, just to the edge of the paper. And I have another one for this side. I guess I could just complete one side of the book and not both sides, but I do take it like this and look at it from the top. See how they're they're a little bit off, so I gotta scoot it down. There we go. And I'm just gonna look at yeah, that's a little there we go. And then I have oh, you know what? I cut these the wrong size because I wasn't thinking. No worries, we'll just keep cutting. Okay, so I have my Fabri-Tac. And I'm just gonna do a line along here. You can just, look, this one has that design to it that it's unraveling a little bit. I've tried to use my um, ribbon cutter with this, but boy, talk about starting a fire. <laughs> um, it's a little bit much for the ribbon cutter, I think. This is, oop, I'm getting a big glob. Um, yeah. Okay, don't freak. Um, da 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 da. There we go. Off to the side, I have um, some scrap paper. So we'll stand that up now. I'm gonna cut that off. Okay, so when it does this, it has a vacuum in there. Um, I can't open my Fabri-Tac back up. It's, this part's like stuck permanently. <laughs> so we'll just deal with it that way. And I think putting this trim on is probably gonna be the most tedious part of this I thought I had them cut to the right size, 
but I forgot I had the circle. So, bear with me. <clears throat> Off, and we'll just work the other direction. So being under these lights, I have a lot of lights. Now the alt lights are supposed to be cool lights. So I'm going to pause you a second. All right, I'm back. I just had a lot of glue stuck to my finger there. And I didn't think you needed to wait for me to get that glue off. Unfortunately, my glue on my paper may have dried. Nope, we're doing good. Okay. You gonna? I don't know about you guys, but I get kind of quiet when I start working, so that's another reason why I haven't really done a lot of tutorials. My eyes are really old and bad, so even with my contacts, I can't even tell if there's glue down there. So now I probably have too much. <laughs> All right, we're not gonna need the fabric tack anymore after that. So last bit of trim here. We need to cut that off back here. Now, normally when I'm working um, in my chair, I have different scissors that I use for this, but I, I didn't wanna bring so much stuff over here, so. Okay, so there is that. I see glue in places, but we're going to deal with it. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to flip this over and hope that it doesn't stick to my cardstock there. <laughs> and we're going to go back to the Aileen's Tacky Glue. Hopefully it's not... Nope, it's not dried out. And... I'm going to grab, I work on this side because that's the side that um, when the when people open the book, that's what they're really going to see first. It's the part that lays flat. So I'm just adding glue to the back of the pocket. And I think that by putting the tabs on the inside between the layers, then you get a stronger seal. All right. Luckily, the pocket becomes like a little holder. And I'm going to pick this up and get that kind of, yep. Just got to make sure it is even. And I use my bone folder. Get in there and make sure those are down and then the strip goes in the center of the spine new word I've learned today apparently all right so I don't know how we're doing on time hopefully you like this tutorial and like I said the measurements will all be in the description box along with whatever supplies I use. If you don't know, I always put those in my description box. Even if it just says ribbon and trim and stuff like that, I still list it. 
if it's like BB craft or, or, or dreaming tree, then, you know, I'd give you a link, but as far as paper and glue, I just list it and we're done. Oh, that's going to drive me crazy. I'm going to have to lift that up. There we go. It wasn't quite dry. All right, so we're done, and that's it. I hope you like that. I hope it was easy. If you have any questions, you know, just shout out and ask me in the comments below, or my email is always in the um, description box, and then I would always tie a bow here to close it. And of course you could decorate that any way you want. And of course you can decorate the inside as well. So that's my little folio. And again, um, I hope you like it. Thank you so much for your support and your crafty love. And I will catch you in my next video. Until then, God bless you and yours. Bye for now.